What is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. It's another 5am slot for me when I'm doing this. It was a crazy day yesterday up country picking all this stuff up. There's some remarkable stuff. There's actually some stuff for you I've personally never had before. So that's always a good sign. But nonetheless, let's get into this video because there's some special items. There's a wide variety of items. What do we say about an original trade box of these? I love these little Morris Oxfords as well. Look at the condition on them. That is a stunning set. I should pick some random ones out. Lovely original condition. So for those who have been watching some videos over the last couple of weeks, I've got a pretty good source at the minute and we've not even scratched the surface of what is to come. So lucky enough, he's one of these that lets me buy some stuff, goes back in like three weeks, buy another lot. So it works out pretty well for everyone that's involved. But Sam's car very nice now the new market horse box this is actually well it used to be a very hard one to find and it's still a pretty desirable one now in all honesty lovely condition is what that is got a little mark there like see there would have been a price sticker there i'm guessing and they've uh, scratched that off and took the paint with it that is why in toy fizz you will always see me have tags not price stickers that's like a rookie thing to do and there's still people that do it like 20 30 40 years of doing it they still stick price stickers on there and it is frustrating that's a nice little french dinky simka nice original example it's all there a little bit of play with but most importantly it's all there we've got some catalogs down the front too as well I'm not sure if I've actually opened a catalogue with you in the past, but, you know, there's some uh, some nice stuff. It's the artwork for me that always makes it. Of course, you've got the price lists in here as well, and the actual list. That's a problem when you when you have some of these. People will tick off what they've got and haven't got. But I guess uh, reflected in the price, of course. I'm guessing they come from the same place anyway, the same collection originally. If we pan you through... I've got some lovely stuff from the Studebaker. I'm always going to pick the Impalas up. These 59 Impalas, one of my favourite castings. And the favourite car, I would, well, the real car I'd love to have. Hydraulics, 100 spokes, you know the vibe. We've got the Chipperfields, Giraffe Transporter, and of course the Leyland here. Yeah. Look at the condition on that. Everything on this table is original. There's no repaints, there's no reproduction boxes. That's not my style, that's not my scene. The Triumph, now that colour is seen more often with the Tollway Glider set, so hmm, it's nice to see it in that box, I guess. Feast your eyes on the gift set. That's beautiful. With the Jensen, the Jag and the Aston Martin, and of course the artwork. Love that. That's a set you don't often see, and when you do see them, sometimes they can be crazy prices. We've got the NSU, of course, there's no batteries in this one at the minute. Oh, Dusty, we'll have to give that a wipe. See, I haven't even done that yet. But I'll pop the battery in, has the working lights, front and rear. That's nice, inner plinth, instructions, etc. with it. The 220 Mercedes. Lovely, and the cream opposed to the more common maroon. We've got the Plymouth, we've got the Humber Hawk. I'm not going to pick them all up, but I'm just going to go and pick a few up here and there. Because, to be fair, I could actually stand here all day and do it all individually. Because I'm that passionate, I love it that much. We got the USS Enterprise behind anything to do with a bit of Star Trek. Look at that. Unpunched as well, which is nice. All the paperwork, all the rockets, everything. Well, the rockets, flying discs are with it. Little orange capsule pod also there. We got the Bluebird, a little record car. That's a nice little bit of uh a little bit of dust in there. We'll get that cleaned up now before I take pictures of it. However, I do have a mint box, one of these, on the store with the crossover flags on it. With the US and British flags on there, which is quite nice. We've got another lovely Studebaker. But I'm going to feast your eyes on the mechanical Corgi. See, that's nice to have. And what's pretty good, if you ever buy a mechanical and it doesn't work, chances are, take this off, put a bit of oil on it, and it will run. So darker blue, in my opinion, is harder to find on the Riley. We've got some window box, F1 cars, slightly later than the 60s ones there. Well, these were about 68, 69. A bit more desirable as well. And of course, you've got the artwork. This is sort of crossover to the whiz wheel stuff. There we go. We've got the Triumph in the more common colour. Another lovely example. Do that. I was checking if there was any luggage in the boot, but there's not. Like as I've said in previous videos, this is the first time sometimes I actually get a good look at them because it's hard to do it when you're at the source buying them. You know, it comes up in front of you. And as you could imagine, 
is a lot of stuff to take in. Now the taxi, that's a beauty. I love these. Again, it's just that era of fins, isn't it? And of course, I'm a Plymouth, like I always, just reminds you of Christine, in my opinion. We've got another lovely Bedford, lovely condition. Blue box, what's that make? About 1958, 59, because of the windows. Might cross over into 60. Now, nice to see this in white, opposed to cream. You know, not a hugely expensive model, but that's lovely. And more importantly, it's got the correct box with the white one on there. Lovely condition box. That's all good. So as we pan around the front, we've got another catalogue. Look at that, man. That should be like blown up. That'd be a great poster on the wall, in my opinion. We've got the James Bond Nasty Martin. All the features fully working. Secret instructions just about hiding away in there. Another mechanical corgi. It's great today. These are brilliant models. And just being the mechanical as well, they're always a bit more desirable. We've got a bit of BBC going on, the roving eye vehicle. I love that. Original mast as well with it. Beautiful condition. Look how nice and bright that box is as well. But right next to it, you've got the Midland Bank, which has always been another desirable model. This is common to crack, so it's nice that it's not. <coughs> Excuse me, boys and girls. Right next to that, we've got a Volkswagen 1500 notch pack. I actually have a real one of these at the minute in red. Well, that's cool to see. I love that. Price of £95 when it was purchased. Mine's probably going to be cheaper than that, I'll be honest with you. And then we've got another chip of fuels. Lovely example. In a plinth, all the horses there. Export box. Bit tatty, but it's the model is mint. It's actually got the coal on the scales as well. That's very rare to find in that type of box. What have we got here as well? It's a bit of a tatty one. Uh, Rover 2000. Now we've got the Packer Jacker, man. Bit of play wear on it. But it's got the pallets with it, which is the most important thing. And out of the commercials, this has also been a desirable one for as long as I can remember. Then we've got the battle cruisers, mint in the box. We've got another gift set. So we've got the international GT gift sets. We've got the Ferrari, the, you know, the race cars are in there. That's nice. Love that. Through to both types of the milk tankers. We've got the Bedford TK and the Bedford S type. Which is your favourite? Mm, I like them for different reasons. But the PS store resistance, as they might say, or this table, is this. Let's take this down over here. We can have a better look at it. Oh, this is a rare one. Atlas redid it. This isn't an Atlas one. This is an original one. Just lean that down ever so gently. We'll take that out. All original paperwork with it. This is a very rare model. Look at that. You can see you can slide the flag back up on the pole. I've never personally had a box one of these because they, they do go for ridiculous money. I know some sellers on eBay ask about seven fifty eight hundred for this. We're not going to be near that. But it's a desirable model. And there's some cool stuff there. So that's another video showing you some new stock. Sorry, we've missed a few in between as well. Just like the lovely auto service set at the back. But I just want to bring you through. All of this is available. Jordan's Vintage World is the eBay store. Worldwide shipping available. Combined postage available. If there's anything you like, you know, you could own it. So I would be quick because some of this stuff is going to move quick. Because I'll always price things accordingly. eBay store is a feature where you can buy any three things, get 20% off. So it's worth doing. But boys and girls, thank you very much for the continued support. Thank you very much for watching the video. And I'd tell you what, thank you for everyone that does smash like on this video or drops a comment because it helps me out massively and it costs you nothing. But until next time, boosh.